Tottenham Hotspur head coach Antonio Conte has come out and said, I came here to help the club and if the problem could be the coach, I'm ready to go, no problem. Spurs remain eighth in the Premier League, seven points away from the top four. We're in action tomorrow at Leeds United at Elland Road, 12.30pm kickoff. Some fixture changes in the Premier League for Spurs. The under-23s will be in action at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium on Monday and the under-18s will be in action tomorrow. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping safe and well. My name is Chris Cowlin and in today's episode of Tottenham News, I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, all of the rumours and all of the reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button and that notification bell where YouTube will notify you every single time I upload a new video. If you're listening to an audio version, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Just before I get into today's video, make sure that you download the OneFootball app for all of the live football scores, results and news. As well as getting all of the latest Spurs news on this channel, you can also see it all here. Download the OneFootball app to keep up to date with everything Tottenham Hotspur. Club news, transfer news, match information, videos, tables and results from all around the world. Don't miss out and please do let me know what you think of this app. Let's start by talking about some Premier League results from the last couple of days. On Wednesday evening, Burnley beat Tottenham Hotspur 1-0 at Turf Moor. Crystal Palace beat Watford 4-1 at Vicarage Road. And Liverpool beat Leeds United 6-0 at Anfield. Last night, our North London rivals Arsenal beat Wolverhampton Wanderers 2-1 at the Emirates Stadium. One Premier League game will take place this evening. Southampton will take on Norwich City 8pm kickoff. So after those results, Tottenham Hotspur remain 8th in the Premier League. We have played 24 games. We have won 12. We have drawn 3 and we have lost 9. We have a goal difference of minus 1 and we have 39 points. We remain 7 points away from the top 4, a Champions League spot. We are 3 points away from a Europa League spot. Uh, and we are 1 point away from a Europa Conference League spot. Now, our next Premier League game will take place tomorrow is the early kickoff in the Premier League. 12.30 away at Elland Road, the home of Leeds United. Of course, in their last game, uh, Wednesday evening, as I've mentioned already, they lost against Liverpool Anfield 6-0. Now, Antonio Conte's press conference ahead of the Leeds game will take place later on today. So I will be putting another episode of Tottenham News uh, out later on today, going through all of his comments. So do look out for that. The Leeds v Spurs game will be live on BT Sport. Kickoff time, of course, as I've mentioned, 12.30 p.m. Uh, for more information on where you can watch Tottenham Hotspur games on television, do visit the website Live Football on TV. Now, the match officials for the game Leeds v Spurs, the referee will be Craig Paulson. His assistants will be Ian Hussin and Richard West. And the fourth official will be Robert Jones. Now, going into the Leeds game, what a stat this is. Of all managers to have taken charge of at least 10 Premier League matches, Spurs head coach Antonio Conte has the best Premier League win rate in matches played on a Saturday. 76% win record, that is 28 wins, 3 draws and 6 defeats. Now for some fixture changes, the Premier League broadcast selection process for the first two match rounds of April has now been completed. Two of our games have been scheduled for live coverage. Our home clash against Newcastle United has been moved to Sunday the 3rd of April. Kickoff time will be 4.30pm, whilst our trip to Aston Villa is now a 5.30pm kickoff on Saturday the 9th of April. Now, there is a caveat on the match at Villa Park. If either Manchester City or Liverpool are scheduled to play in the Champions League on Tuesday the 12th of April, our match against Aston Villa will switch to Sunday the 10th of April, 4.30pm kickoff. And the remaining TV picks for April will be confirmed shortly after the draw for the FA Cup quarter-final on the 3rd of March. The Spurs under-18s will be in action tomorrow in the under-18 Premier League as we'll be travelling away at Brighton Hove Albion. Kickoff time is 11.30am and the game will take place at the Amex Elite Football Performance Centre.
The Tottenham Hotspur under-23s will be in action on Monday evening uh, against Leeds United uh, under-23s in Premier League 2. The game is taking place at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. If you would like to go to this game, do head over to the club's website because tickets are still available. Now, after Tottenham's defeat at Turf Moor away at Burnley on Wednesday evening, Tottenham Hotspur head coach Antonio Conte said the following, I came here to help the club and if the problem could be the coach, I'm ready to go. No problem. I'm not used to this situation. I'm trying everything, but the situation is not changing. I'm available and open with the club to do whatever the club wants. I want to help the club. I work a lot. I work very hard. I'm giving 20 hours a day to Tottenham and the other four hours I sleep, but it is not enough. The performance can be good and the commitment was good, but we lost. For me, the situation is unacceptable. To lose four of five games for Tottenham has to be a disaster. Conte then went on to say, I came in to try to improve the situation. Maybe in this moment, I'm not so good to improve the situation. I'm too honest to close my eyes and continue in this way. For sure, we are to speak and have a conversation with the club to try and find the best solution to help the team not have this type of situation. It is the right moment to make the assessment. I repeat, I'm really frustrated. Conte then went on to say, in the last five games, we are playing like we are in the relegation zone. Uh, this is the reality. Maybe there is something wrong. I want to take responsibility. If I have that, I'm open for every decision. I have ambition. I hate to lose. To take my salary is not right at the moment. I want to help Tottenham from the first day I arrive, but four defeats in five. This is the first time in my life this type of situation has happened. At the moment, we could finish 10th, 12th or 13th. We could finish in the same position as when I arrived here. Now, my thoughts on Antonio Conte's comments um, after the Burnley game on Wednesday. I must say I was extremely surprised. Uh, for those of you who watch this channel on a regular basis and watch the Spurs chat um, live after the game um, against Burnley, I was actually reading the comments out. Um, on the stream. Um, very, very surprised. Um, you know, we were talking about it then. And, uh, you know, I just think that that Burnley game was just so frustrating in so many ways. We didn't create enough. We didn't do enough in that game. There wasn't that spark there. Again, yes, we had a couple of chances, but we only had two shots on target. You know, no disrespect to Burnley, but they had only won one Premier League game all season at home. Two Premier League games total, uh, one at home and one away, um, you know, all season. You know, we beat the champions, Manchester City, on Saturday. Four days later, you go to Burnley, fully expecting to win. And, you know, we, we just didn't give, you know, a good performance again. And this is why Antonio Conte is so frustrated. I'm sure that he is asking certain players to do certain things in games. And I just think that these players do have real limitations. And I think that he's probably expecting a lot more uh, from certain players in matches. And they just simply are not delivering. Um, I think he's probably a little bit frustrated as well. That the fact that four uh, key players went out in the transfer window. And when I say key players, I mean, you know, players of worth and players that should have delivered at Spurs and clearly didn't. Um, and then we only brought two in. Um, you know, he's probably a little bit frustrated, but... Um, I think all of us fans know that we've got to wait to the summer uh, to get the real business done. Um, but Antonio Conte needs more help now. Um, and I think that some of these players, some of the senior players, certainly, uh, you know, need to, you know, probably deliver a little bit more in games like we did against Manchester City. Now, Conte said there um, in the interview um, that he's working 20 hours a day out of 24 at the moment for Spurs. I have absolutely no doubt he's a he's a workaholic. He is a born winner. Uh, you don't win things and be successful in life by sitting around. You you know you do it by you know sheer hard work, and that is exactly what he's done for the whole of his career, playing career and managerial career. And he wants to be successful at Spurs. And I feel his absolute frustration because he wants to come in. He wants to do a good job. Um, you know, his reputation is on the line. As he said there, he's never lost four out of five games. Um, you know, he doesn't like the situation. He doesn't like losing. I just hope that Antonio Conte has had a successful meeting uh, in the last 24 hours or so with the board, with the likes of Daniel Levy, uh, you know, and, and talked it out. And, uh, you know, I cannot wait to see Antonio Conte in the dugout at Elland Road 
uh, against Leeds and hopefully we can pick up a win and turn this around because you know we want European football next uh, next season. I know Antonio Conte is talking about finishing 10th, 12th or 13th. We do have good players. We have a world-class manager. Um, you know, lots of work needs to be done. We all know um, that we haven't got a finished squad. We know that we haven't got a fantastic squad, but I believe that we do have enough good players in this squad to get a European spot uh, for the end of the season, certainly with Antonio Conte in charge. And lastly, in the last month or so, I've had some absolutely brilliant guests on this channel and another one will be on next week. Former Tottenham Hotspur defender, former captain Michael Dawson will be joining me for a Spurs chat uh, where I'll be asking him questions all about his career and the current Tottenham Hotspur squad. If you would like to ask him a question, please do put it below and I will ask him as many as I possibly can. And lastly, if you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on everything I've spoken about in today's video. Also hit that like button and that notification bell where YouTube will notify you every single time I upload a new video. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can and look out for tomorrow's daily news video. Until then, come on you Spurs.